ठीक है गाइस हाय हेलो नमस्ते आदाब सत श्रीकाल असल वरकम एंड खम्मा गनी टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम टू टूडेज क्लास एंड एज यू ऑल नो गाइस वी आर स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू सीरीज फॉर योर टर्म टू एंड दिस इज केस बेस्ड क्वेश्चन सीरीज सो वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद सीबीएसई नाइन फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज पॉलिनोमियल सो इन दिस सेशन विल बी डिस्कसिंग सम केस बेस्ड क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द टॉपिक पॉलिनोमियल सो लाइट गाइज सो लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ फर्स्ट सो माई नेम इज गोपाल पालीवाल I am your master teacher of mathematics here at Vidanto. Done my graduation from IIT Dhanbad. Now been teaching from the past five to six years. So, uh, so taught and mentored thousands of students by now, uh, and will be starting this particular topic today. Okay, so polynomials. If you are not aware about the uh, theory portion or the types of question, if you want to go through the very basic, I have already covered it under the prodigy series. In this series. Will be uh, solving some questions. ठीक है? So first one देखो. Adwaith's mother gave him some money uh, to buy papaya from the market at the rate of. This is equation regarding the rates, right? Let alpha and beta are the zeros of this polynomial p of x. Based on above information, answer the following question. Okay, first one. Find the values of alpha and beta where alpha is less than beta. So alpha and beta are the zero of this polynomial. We have to simplify that. So p of x is given as x square what is p of x given guys sorry yeah p of x is given as x square minus 12x minus 220 minus 12x minus 220 this we need to simplify we need to find out its zero so to get zero what will make will make the polynomial equal to zero so x square minus 12x minus 220 make it equal to zero you need two numbers such that addition is minus 12 multiplication is minus 220 So can you see 22 and 10, right? So it will be x square minus 22x plus 10x minus 220 equal to zero. Take x common, you will be left with x minus 22. Uh, and here take 10 common, you will be again left with x minus 22 equal to zero. So the final factorization is x minus 22 into x plus 10 equal to zero. So from here you will get x is equal to 22. Or x is equal to minus 10. These are your two zeros. So this will be alpha and beta. Now here they have told you that alpha is less than beta. That means alpha will be equal to minus 10 and beta will be equal to 22. Alpha should be less. So the smaller value, right? Okay. Take it. Next one. Find the value of alpha plus beta plus alpha beta. So as you all know, guys, alpha plus beta. Uh, plus alpha into beta, so we have the values, right? So I can say alpha is minus 10 plus 22 plus minus 10 into 22. So you will be getting what over here? Minus 10 and 22 will be equal to 12, and here you have minus 220, so we'll be getting minus of 208. Okay, minus 208 will be your correct answer. Simple, direct question. Next question, case study two guys. Okay, so two questions from each case study we are doing. Uh, next case study is Jo Jo. Uh, sorry, Jay wants to distribute masks and hand sanitizer bottles in his colony. ठीक है. Number of masks and sanitizer bottles distributed in a day can be represented by the zeros of this polynomial. First one, find the zeros of this polynomial. So we'll say, sir, the polynomial is x square minus nine x plus twenty. Okay. So I'll say, sir, the zeros of this polynomial we have to find out. Make it equal to zero. So x square minus nine x plus twenty make it equal to zero. You'll say x square minus four minus five will be the splitting. So x common x minus four minus five common still x minus four equal to zero. You'll get x minus four into x minus five equal to zero. So you'll get x is equal to four or x is equal to five. These are the zeros, so it can be four or five, anything. Let alpha and beta are the zeros of this polynomial p x. Find the polynomial with zeros alpha square and beta square. Okay, so if alpha and beta are the zeros of this polynomial p of x, so I can say, देखो, भाई, we have told alpha is equal to four, beta is equal to five. So alpha square will be equal to sixteen, and beta square will be equal to what? 25. Now, guys, from factor theorem, we know that if for the new polynomial which we want, if say x equal to 
is a zero then what will be the factor shift 16 over there x minus 16 is a factor regarding the factor theorem right similarly over here if x equal to 25 is a zero i will say x minus 25 is a factor so i have got both the factors so i can say sir my the new polynomial all right so the required polynomial required polynomial will be multiplication of these two factors all right and we can multiply with some constant k remember whenever we write required polynomial whatever it is we can say it can be multiplied with any constant because it doesn't change zeros zeros so k times of if you multiply with x square minus 25 x minus 16 x and here it will be plus 25 400 times so final answer is k times of x square minus uh, 41 minus 41 x plus 400 this is the required polynomial this is the required polynomial all right beta okay this is how this question will be done we have to multiply with that given factors so this is a good question factor theorem we are using over here all right okay so if they give you zero from those zeros you can guide, get the factors and multiply those factors to get the polynomial all right here they have not written k but you need to mention that k it can be multiplied with any variable if x equal to alpha and x equal to beta are zeros then the polynomial will be k times of x minus alpha into x minus beta remember this k is any constant okay i'll write where k is any constant number any constant it is okay okay guys next question let's go for the next question before we go over there remember guys vedantu's live and interactive courses are going on and uh, the very best thing guys you are getting with this courses is uh, you can register for these courses uh, plus going to the link which is mentioned in the description box of this video as well as in the pinned comment remember coupon code is gpe pro and right now you are getting 50 percentage off up to rupees 2000 okay so this is the offer vedantu edfest is going on you are getting this offer how you can register simple evita suppose you come to the description box of this video here you will see in the description box what you are seeing over here avail all exciting vedantu courses click on cbse term 2 cbse term 2 full syllabus here you come grade 9 cbse 2022 if you want you can change over clicking over here on change and you can see grade 9 cbse term 2 full syllabus grade everything you can select okay now here you have pro light and pro classic you can see after applying gpe pro uh, price for pro light and pro classic is shown over here Hena? and one more thing guys you can attend the live classes the features live classes will be there interactive platform wave platform pay where you can attend the quizzes you can ask your doubts you can talk with your uh, teacher your fellow students everything will be there then test series will be provided assignments notes doubt solving in the classes as well with the help of class teachers in pro classic the fee is different because there is one extra feature that is doubt solving on mobile app so you get access to vedantu's doubt solving app 24 7 access you have put your doubts you will get the solution for it all right uh, one more thing guys if you are one of those students who wanted to try first before going for the whole course you wanted to try first you can see the trial amount also has reduced by 50 percentage normal days it is 1200 for 15 days right now it is just 60 600 and pro classic is just rupees 800 you can experience it and once you start liking it you can definitely go and enroll for the year long course all right so don't forget to apply gpe pro over here now moving on case study three what it says guys junk food is unhealthy food that is high in calories from sugar or fat okay this is all 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 uh, related to question okay now main question alpha is the number of students who take junk food beta is the number of students who take healthy food such that alpha is greater than beta that is true people who eat junk food is always more than people who eat people who eat healthy healthy foods especially nowadays pizza burger papra everyone will everybody will be eating it favorite of theirs no one would be like 
I'll eat sprouts. I'll eat peanuts. I'll 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 eat uh, the dry, dry fruit. Eat nuts, etc. And uh, nothing like that. Junk food first. So that's the society over here shown in this question. So let alpha and beta are the zeros of this quadratic polynomial. F x. This is the zeros of this quadratic polynomial. Answer the following. Which type of polynomial is given in the above expression? Which is this quadratic polynomial? Quadratic polynomial. Its classification on the basis of degree. If I ask on the basis of degree, it is quadratic polynomial. On the basis of number of terms, it is trinomial. It is trinomial. So I have told you both, both classification. Okay. Here also it is given one. We have written both. Okay, one step ahead. Find the number of students who take healthy food. Healthy food is those students beta, है ना? Beta is the number of students who take healthy food. Alpha is greater than beta also given. This is the equation. So x square minus 14x plus oh sorry, x square minus 14x plus 40. And here it is given to us. Alpha is greater than beta. So x square, they go 10 and 4. So minus 10x minus 4x plus 40. All right, so you'll get x into x minus 10. Your minus 4, if you take common x minus 10, you got x minus 10 into x minus 4. So from here you'll get x is equal to 10 and x is equal to 4. As you know, alpha is greater than beta, so alpha is 10, beta will be 4. Number of students who take healthy food is equal to. Right, four students will take healthy food. Simple. right so guys easy questions you know polynomial comparatively easy topic and if you get a case study based question just understand the uh, equation in a better way all right and again guys vedantu edfest is going on gpe pro is your code to get 50 percentage off up to rupees uh, 2000 major benefit in the main courses as well as in the trial period amount as well Okay, case study four guys. Two friends, Vicky and Gani, start a business together. They decide to share their capitals. Their capitals depending upon the variable expenditure. Take okay, a capital means the amount they have money they'll be investing in it. So, the capital of the two partners together is given by this polynomial. Total uh, capital they have, total amount they have in a like in a layman terms, uh, in a easier terms. I'll say that the total. Amount they have, total worth they have is this much with this equation, which is the product of their individual share factors. Their share factors. So I have to factorize this equation first thing. The total expenditure of Vicky and Gani when x equal to 10. What will the total expenditure? So the capital of two partner together. This is given over here. Take okay, as so a total expenditure put x equal to 10 in this. So 6x square plus 11x minus 35. So this tells you the variable expenditure. The expenditure is again varying. So here, if I put x equal to 10, I'll get my answer. So 6 into 10 square, 600 plus 11 into 10 plus 110 minus 35. So 600 plus 110 minus 35. You get 600. Uh, this is 25 and then 75. So 675. All right, six seventy-five. Next, what is the value of x when individual shares of Vicky and Gani are equal? The individual shares of the Vicky and Gani they are sharing equal thing. ठीक है? भाई देखो, they decided to share their capital depending upon what? Depending upon their variable expenditure. ठीक है? So the total capital of the two partners together is given by this product. This is the equation. ठीक है? So let us factorize. Sorry, let us factorize both of them. Let us factorize this first. So we have 6x square minus 11x plus 11x. Is it plus 11x? Ha, huh, plus 11x. Plus 11x minus 35. This is the uh, equation which will be uh, which is representing the variable expenditure and their factors show their individual shares. So if I factorize this, 35 into 6 will be 210. I can get that sum should be 11. And the product should be equal to minus 210. So I can say, sir, it will be equal to 21 and minus 10. So 6x square 
plus 21x minus 10x minus 35. Here, guys, you can take 3x common. You are left with 2x. If I take 3x common, here I am left with 2x plus 7x plus 7. And here, if I take minus 5 common, 2x plus 7. Because negative all taken uh, common together. So, you have 2x plus 7 into 3x minus 5. So, out of these two factors, one is the share of Vicky, one is the share of Gani. They are saying these shares, we want it to be equal. That means both the factors should give you equal value. So, make them equal 2x plus 7, make it equal to 3x minus 5. Shift 2x over there, 5 over there, you'll get x is equal to 12. So, when x is equal to 12, the shares of both will be same. Look, uh, 12 to the 24, 24 plus 7 will be equal to what? 31. And 12 to the 36 minus 1 is again 31. Right? Okay, so x equal to 12 will be your correct answer. Alright, bacho. So, these are some easy questions because polynomial comparatively is an easy topic. These kind of case study based questions are asked. Solve these kind of questions. See what the question is trying to tell you. If you get stuck in any of a question, do make sure that you are reading the question again. Read that question again. See what the question is trying to tell you and then understand that and then apply that in the given question. All right, guys. So, yes, don't forget before you go, GPE Pro is your code to get 10% off. Sorry, 50% off right now. Right now it is 50% off up to rupees 2000. Later it will again go back to 10%. 10 so, this is the time right now to go for the courses. All right. So, guys, please join the courses quickly. As you can see, uh, one batch has started on 17th of January. Do not miss it for grade 9. All right. So, thank you so much, guys, for joining the session. I'll see you all in the next class. Please don't forget to like the video before you leave. Share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Thank you so much. I'll see you all in the next class. Till then, bye-bye. Sayonara. Good office to all of you. Bye-bye, guys.